everyone i'm keisha charmaine and i'm back and in this video i'll be showing you all how i retwist my hair not using any products not using any clips and how i do it super fast i've done this video in the past but this is a highly requested video i guess i have a lot of new subscribers and you guys want to see how i retwist my hair maybe some of you want to see if it's any different with my hair being much longer now and it's really not um Actually, it might be a little bit easier because I'm not using clips. The weight of my locks definitely play a part in the locks staying put and letting my roots dry in place. So, you'll see more of what I mean in the video. But here's a sneak peek of my results. And at this point, it's only been a day. But I have not tied my hair down to sleep, nor have I tied my hair up to go in the shower. That's just the kind of girl I am most days. So if you want to see how I hold my retwist in place, no products, no clips, stay tuned. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. It's been towel dried, so it's not drenched. You probably can't even tell that it's wet at all, but it is. Okay, it's damp. So what I do is I grab the lock, I make sure that I separate any hairs that may be attached to another lock or that should belong to another lock. And I do that so that I can keep my parts. Some people like to use combs, but, but I imagine that being really difficult to do if you're doing your own hair. So I'd stay away from combs, I find them unnecessary in general, but yes. So I grab all the hairs that I want, and then I begin to palm roll and I palm roll at the root and that is going to keep the hairs together that are new hairs. A lot of us don't think about this, but remember, you may have had your locks for 10 years, but only the locks at your ends are 10 years old. The hair towards your root is new. So it's not fully locked. It's not as locked as your ends. So you want to make sure that you're palm rolling your hair that's closer to your roots. And not just your new growth, but it's, you know, several inches past your new growth. You want to palm roll that hair so that that could continue to lock uniformly. So I palm roll very close to the root. And that is going to help to manage frizz and is also going to help to keep your retwist looking fresher longer. So I palm roll as many times as I feel necessary until I feel the tension at my roots. And that's maybe three times, maybe more, maybe less. It depends on the roll, you know. It's no specific science to it, but I just palm roll until I feel the tension at my roots so I know that it's gonna be secure. But then, Here's the trick, and here's what keeps your roots to stay put. I twist it into a little cinnamon bun, as Cheska Lee, Cheska Locks, said in her video. I initially learned this method from a YouTuber from back in the day named Black Indigo. She's not on YouTube anymore, as far as I know, but I learned it from her. And Cheska Locks, I feel like she helped to make it really popular back when Cheska Locks was making hair videos on YouTube. And yeah, it's been the best solution as far as I know to retwist your hair without using any clips. And when you roll your hair into that little spiral, it stays put so I know a lot of people are against doing this especially when your locks are are shorter because it does take away a little bit of your length but just a little bit but you know when your locks are shorter you care about every centimeter of, of hang time you know you want your hair to be as long as possible but when your hair is as long as mine that is the last of your concerns and you know for those of you who are not obsessed with you know every centimeter of of length you know this is definitely you know a go-to method and but also here's a tip if you want to retwist with no clips like how I'm doing but you don't want 
you know, that little curl at your roots before they completely dry, pull them out, pull them out, pull them down and then put your hair into a ponytail and that will help to keep it secured. You may want to pull it into several ponytails instead of just one ponytail so that your hair can dry fully and evenly. And lastly, when I'm complete, I use these strips and I just started doing this. This is not anything that I've been doing for a long time at all. But I use these strips to tie along my hairline and I also put them on, you know, like the top of my head. And what that does is it keeps your hair in place, one, but it also helps to absorb some of the water, helps to minimize the frizz that tends to be towards the root. These strips are, they're paper strips, but they're a stretchy paper. So the stretch helps when it comes to, you know, tying it around your head and the paper helps to absorb the water. In the past, I would use like a, a pantyhose leg and tie that around my edges. And that was effective, you know, for keeping my edges smooth. But I find that paper strips are better because, you know, they help to absorb the water. So they help to dry your hair and help them dry in place and tame your frizz that's it i hope that this video was helpful here are my final results a couple days later and yeah thanks for watching make sure you thumbs this video up if you found it helpful leave a comment below subscribe if you haven't already share this video to a friend who may need help with retwisting their locks. Check out my shop www.lovelightlocks.storeenv.com for head wraps, hair products, lock accessories, and more. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks. Hey, hey.